Hello, so we are back in this time. We have Soaring Job, huh? We have a HP laptop. Pentium Gold. Uh, this laptop is coming from a local repair shop. Motherboard no power. But looks like it was like one year ago for a LCD replacement. Let's plug a charger and see what it's doing. We have a blue pin charger. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, 19 volts. We need some current. Let me see what current do we have here. Yeah, that's enough. So plug in the charger. And it's taking like 20 milliamps. Good. Pressing the power button and nothing happened. You can see. I mean, the current, it's exactly the same good actually it's not good not sure why it's taking 20 milliamps but let's open the laptop quickly and let's see what it's inside so the laptop it's open yeah that's a classic hp board can you spot anything unusual let's plug the charger again and it's taking 20 milliamps and let's check our main power rail, which is uh, here, I'm assuming. I no capacitor. Check here, the power supply. Yeah, of course, most of it, no capacitor. Probably on, are on the other side of the board, capacitors. So where should I check? Here? No, nothing. Here. And we have 19.6, you can see. So the main power LED is present. So why the EC chip is not reading the power button? Another question is, who is taking 20 milliamps? And why? Plug in the charger without the battery. It's still taking 20 milliamps. I want to do something because I know HP, they have uh, this problem, HP and Lenovo. Let me disconnect the keyboard. So disconnecting the keyboard. Plug in the charger. 20 milliamps. Okay, maybe the power button is faulty. Where is the power button? Power button is here. This ribbon cable. Nah, still 20 milliamps. The power button is good. I don't think it's a problem with the power button. The laptop is not charging also, so uh, not charging. Not reading the not reading the, the power button. I think we can go straight to the EC chip and do some checks there. But actually, you know what? We can check if the 3.3 is present. On the power button. If it's present on the power button, then uh, it's present on the EC chip also. 3.3. No, the 3.3 is present. Okay, let's take the board out. It is possible uh, to be something wrong with the EC chip or even liquid damage. And the board, it's out. No, it's looking good. Wait, actually the EC chip is here. Let me take the Wi-Fi card. So we took out the board for nothing. The EC chip is here. No, I can't see liquid damage. No, no, it's absolutely clean. Let's check uh, the EC chip there. And the EC chip looks fine. I mean... Huh? That's liquid damage there? Because it looks like no, but here definitely it looks like liquid damage. So do you think actually because of that pin, 
where I can clearly see liquid damage there. That's the reason why this laptop is not working. What do you think? Oh. Alcohol, let's try to clean it. Actually, let's try to clean the whole area. Perfect. Let's see now. Let me dry a little bit. Perfect. Let's plug in the charging port and let's plug the charger and see if it's taking the same amount of current. Plug in the charger and it's not taking 20 milliamps. You can see it's taking nothing, zero. Let's plug the power button. Oh. Pressing the power button and the laptop is coming on. That's crazy. It was just one pin on the EC chip. No, we don't have screen. No, no, no. We don't have screen. Ha! Just one pin. That's all. It was water damage. One pin. Okay, everything is plugged in. Let's test one more time. 0 to 10 milliamps, which is perfectly fine. Pressing the power button and the laptop, it is coming on. Fan is spinning. We have picture, huh? Yes, yeah, CMOS reset. We have picture. That was the problem. I can't believe. Is it pizza? Nah, nah. No pizza today. No, no, no. It's too hot outside. Yeah, no hard drive. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Let me put it all back together just to be sure it's working uh, with everything, with the hard drive, with the Wi-Fi card. Okay, everything is back in place. Let's test one more time. Let's see if it's charging also. It's not charging. Yeah, it is charging. Pre-charge current, 90 milliamps, 150, and probably it's going up. Yeah, that's the pre-charge current, so the battery is very discharged. Okay, that's fine. Let's press the power button. The laptop it is coming on. Yeah, and we have picture. CMOS reset because the CMOS memory is uh, is holded by the battery itself. Yeah, working great. And you can see the charging sign there. Let me power off. We have to be sure it's charging. The laptop is off and we have like 160 milliamps. 160 milliamps is not fine. So what I'm gonna do, what is the voltage on the battery? 11.3 volts, that's what it's saying on the battery. That's not really important because the battery is getting charged uh, in current, yeah? So I'm gonna lower the current, yeah, like that. We have plus here. And the battery is charging with 500 milliamps and yeah, 2 amps. Charging fine, the voltage is like 10 volts on the battery. Let's raise the current to 3 amps. And on this point, I believe the, the laptop it will charge fine. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to switch back to 19 and when I will plug the charger, the laptop is should, uh, should charge normally. Plug in the charger, 90 milliamps, 1.4 amps. Uh -huh. Charging fine. We have the orange light there, everything is fine. Okay, now what do I want uh, to keep in mind <laughs> is to pay attention on the motherboard. I mean, you've seen it's just a small drop between two pins. And that can, uh, you know, make your laptop dead. So I'm going to stop here. I will say thank you for watching. Like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button. And you can get instantly access to our members-only 
cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay, where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.